a lot of background. My M25 girlfriend, F25, had a period for about a year and a bit into our relationship every second weekend for a few months was girls night and she'd go out with her girlfriends, sometimes she'd message me with pictures, sometimes I wouldn't hear back until the next morning when she crashed at one of her friends houses, I brought it up a few times that I didn't like being in the dark about her nights, but she told me I should just trust her. I really didn't like this, but it didn't matter by the end of it as she decided to cut herself off from that friend group and cut back on drinking. Our relationship continued. Whenever I asked about those friends, she said the girls' nights weren't fair to me, and she wanted to spend time to focus on us, and so those weekends turned into board game night, movie nights, nights of experimentation, etc. Fast forward three years to about a month ago, my girlfriend and I were drinking for the first time in ages, and I was egging her on to do shots with me because I always thought she was cute when she got tipsy, but instead, she just looked sad. And after a while, she broke down into tears. It took a long while of consoling to get her to respond to which she said she wanted to talk to her sister and if I could give her a bit. I honestly had no idea what this was about. I thought some family drama until she came back out and told me the truth since apparently it had been eating her alive for the past three years. On the last girl's night, she had cheated on me. She begged me to forgive her, and when I asked her what she meant by cheated, she begged me not to ask her details as it would make things worse. My heart sunk then because hearing that made it clear it most likely wasn't just a kiss. I told her it was stupid to have confess, then expect me to forgive her, and she was just inconsolable at that point. So after about 10 minutes of trying to get her to spit out what she had done, she denied me any details. I told her if you don't tell me what you did right now, I'm walking out the door and you'll never see me again, which made her freak out so loud, I was afraid that the police would be called, so I started to go for the door where she stopped me. She confessed she had slept with two men that her friends had met that night. She tried to hug me in an effort to stop me leaving, but I kept her at arm's distance, and I couldn't even think of what to ask my life felt like it unraveled. I told her to go to bed, and we'll talk about this in the morning, and I had planned to leave, but she ended up holding on to me, begging me to stay the night. The whole night I just stood in my anger as she whimpered into my chest before falling asleep. Come morning she looked like a corpse. All the life was drained out of her face, I asked her to explain what happened in detail, and if I find out anywhere down the line that she skipped a detail or obscured something, I would never forgive her. She essentially explained that two guys were hanging around the group with them and buying everyone drinks, and she was insecure that they weren't giving her any attention so when they finally started talking to her, she felt validated. She left with them to party after the night out, and that's where they hooked up. The speech sounded like the culmination of three years of reflection on that night. The first question to the top of my mind was so both at the same time, to which she said yes, and that made my skin crawl. I then asked if she still had contact with them to which she responded. She doesn't even know their names. I asked if she got an STD test to which she looked a bit annoyed at first, then immediately dropped the face and she said yes, and they wore protection. I had to ask on top of that if the STD test was negative to which she said yes. I then started looking for reasons. Were you on drugs? Were you forced? Did they threaten you? All knows. I then asked why? She has no idea she just didn't care at that time, and once they finished, she knew she fucked up. I asked her if this was the only time and she said yes but then added that she had kissed a guy as well, went out but had very little recollection of it. I then went into detail about the how long before the sex was the kiss. Why didn't she stop going out after the kiss? She didn't have a good answer for that and just started apologizing saying that she isn't like that anymore. She doesn't want to lose me. I told her there that I wanted to break up, which made her freak out and begin pleading that we can work things out. We had a back and forth about how I think that everything we've done is fake, since the woman I've been dating is this guilt-ridden persona of herself, and I would have broken up with her had she been honest. She said that night was the night that made her realize that she loved me more than anything and didn't want to lose me. I then asked her if she would forgive herself, and she said yes very quickly, 
I told her so if she was home every other weekend wondering if I'm out with friends or having sex with some stranger, then I came home and apologized she would forgive me. She said if I was honest about it and wouldn't do it again, then yes, she would. I said she's full of shit, but she stood by it saying that is honestly how she felt, so I ended up calling her bluff and told her, okay, every second weekend, I'm going out, and you won't hear back from me until the weekend's over, and you'll just have to trust that I'm not having sex with other people. I could tell she wanted to say no, but she had already locked herself in, so we went back to our normal lives. I was obviously cold to her at first, but she put on a brave face thinking we were making it through this. The weekend came, and I said I'm going out, and she looked like a ghost, but didn't stop me. I assumed she thought I was bluffing, which I suppose I was. I went to my friend's house who knew about the whole situation, and we just binged some TV shows and had a few drinks I ignored all her messages during the time. And when I came home, she gave me a big hug and kiss and looked like she was trying to see my night through my eyes, but I gave her nothing. This became a routine and she was walking around like a zombie 247, and I thought about giving up the ruse a few times because I saw the woman I loved for a brief moment, but then the thought of her cheating on me would always pull me back to this vengeful state. My friend told me what I'm doing is evil, and I should just dump her if I can't forgive her to which I agree I'm not getting a kick out of seeing her dying inside, it honestly makes me feel awful. Because I know what a great loyal girlfriend she would be now, but I just can't love her anymore. I need to tell her now that there is nothing we can do to fix this. I can't move past what she did, but I'm worried about the fallout from this situation I've put her through.